Okay, this is rather a strange channel that I've came across. Um, meant to be Christian, and he's saying things like uh, Jesus act on the cross was a sort of a commit of a committal of suicide. This is a video about suicide, and he says he says towards the end of this video, um, look at what Jesus did on the cross, and now he's in heaven. See, Jesus didn't commit suicide. Um, I find this very strange, a very strange video. Um, it's very clear in the Bible, if you take your own life, um, you're in the danger. At least you're almost certain of going to hell. Um, unless God intervenes, unless at the last moment that you can, you can totally repent or somebody's interceding or something's happening. Um, you're, you're bound to hell. Um, Lord Jehovah Witnesses don't teach that there is hell. Well, this is what Jesus said. Whoever shall offend one of these little ones that believe in me is better for him that a millstone were hanged about his neck and he were cast into the sea. If your hands offend thee, cut it off. It's better for thee to enter into life maimed than having two hands going into hell, into the fire that shall never or shall never shall be quenched. Where their worm dieth not, then the fire is not quenched. This is talking about hell. Now, one of his other videos, um, ten facts about hell. Hellfire to burn them forever and ever. Do people go straight to hell after death? Is the devil in charge of hell? I'm going to be answering these questions and many more in this video. Ten facts about hell you're not being told. Fact number one, nobody is in hell now. Yeah, how, how does he know that? I mean, Jesus is very clear about um, that when a person dies and he gives the parable about Lazarus and the rich man, Lazarus goes to hell. Sorry, Lazarus goes to um, a part in the sort, of, the sort of underworld called Abraham's bosom. And the rich man goes to the part we know as Gehenna, which is hell itself. Um, after the resurrection, it seemed that um, a lot of the saints uh, were released from Abraham's bosom. Uh, as written, I believe, in Luke 27. If you've got any questions about this, guys, let me know. Uh, I've done a few videos about this before. But Jesus is very clear. Um, where their worm, worm dieth not and the fire is not quenched. Jesus mentions this repeatedly. He's actually quoting from Isaiah 66. Here we see it in the, the Gospel of, of Mark there. That was Mark uh, chapter 9. Uh, this is from Isaiah 66. We have to scroll down to the King James Bible, which is uh, it's not a 16 11, but anyway. Let uh, me go right down. Um, for as the new heavens and new earth which I shall make shall remain before me, saith the Lord, so your seed remain. It shall come to pass from one human to another, one Sabbath to another, all flesh shall come and worship before me. So this is on the new earth where the saints are resurrected. And every new moon and Sabbath will come and, and worship the Lord. And they shall go forth, look upon the carcasses of men that have transgressed against me, for their worm shall not die. Neither shall their fire be quenched, and there shall be an abhorring unto all flesh. So this is obviously some kind of a um, viewing portal to what's happening in hell. Just like um, Lazarus could see what was happening to the rich man, the rich man could look up and see that you know Lazarus was in a sort of place of safety where his soul was was getting water, it was being nourished. Um, spiritually speaking or whatever happens in the you know um after afterlife but the bible does teach heaven and hell and so does so many other religions i believe islam teaches it as well i believe uh many other religions most of christianity denominations teach it except for i think the jehovah witnesses don't teach it because they're they're modern day sad sad you sees because they're sad you see sad you see <laughs> but uh 
the Bible is very clear. Jesus teaches about hell. I think it's something like uh, five or six or seven times more than he talks about heaven. You know, the proportion is is very great. Jesus warns people about hell. Jesus warned the Pharisees about the fires of hell. And so, I just think like videos like this um, are muddying the waters. It was just in complete contrast to a video I had just watched before that, which, uh, you know, a guy seeing Hitler in hell. And, uh, Simple cube used for storing office supplies. Or is it there's, there's many compartments in hell, so you see, like, Hitler. On stories of the supernatural. Um, there we go, try and skip to it. Brian Melvin died after being infected with cholera. Describes how his soul was separated from his body and taken to hell. And this, the cube was open, and inside there, this demon was trying to get me to go. There's Lee Hitler here flames. being tortured. He's just sitting there, burning. And his flesh wasn't burning, and he had this hideous look on his face. And he was, as he was burning, the flesh would be rotting, and he's feeling every bit of it. It was almost like every oven now can I support this with the Bible of course I can let's look to what the, the Bible teaches about the resurrection that all souls shall be resurrected um, we'll just get to these scriptures I believe there's a good one in Revelation there we go So, you can see in the book of Revelation, which tra which verse was that again? Revelation 5, 20 verse 5. But the rest of the dead live not again until a thousand years was finished. So the saints are uh, resurrected first. Uh, this is the first resurrection. Blessed and holy are the other part of the first resurrection. On the sec uh, on such the second death has no power, but they shall be priests of God and Christ, and shall reign with them a thousand years. A thousand years are expired, Satan shall be loosed. And this is where we have the Gog and Magog war. So people that are saying that the Gog and Magog war are happening now, it's, it's not happening for another thousand years after Jesus' second coming. Sorry to inform you that, so you can just tick off all the false prophets that are telling you that the Gog Magog war is happening right now. They're false prophets. By the way, they're teaching lies, teaching error, according to the Word of God. Um, and it's saying basically that uh, this is the, the resurrection where the uh, lost are actually resurrected after the thousand years. And it says the devil that deceived them are cast into the lake of fire and brimstone and so this is this is like a final judgment on Satan's kingdom and then we see uh, the judgment hallelujah so this is like the, the second resurrection and so on the saints are already resurrected and with Christ but this is just for the rest of the world and it's the saints in Christ that judge these guys who I believe are being held in hell it's a holding place it's, it's like a prison for the lost souls and they're actually being made to experience all the wrong decisions and all the sin that they've actually done in their life and they're getting to actually see some of these demons that have been tempting them face to face in hell yeah that's what hell is um, in this video um, I think there's uh, demons just transform themselves into people but they're not really people they're demons and uh, they kind of welcome these people in and these people think they're, they're in heaven and yet they just end up being tortured by these demons who they've been listening to all their lives and so 
I can think of a few people that I know that literally, uh, I'm not saying, I, I guess all the ancient religions are, are, are to do with sort of ancestral worship. This is very pagan and it does go on right throughout the world. I've seen it in Africa, I've seen it in Europe, probably probably it's uh, going on to some some type of extent where you're from. Uh, there's a woman who does Gaia worship in here and the demons actually throw things at her that she was worshipping like stones and things like that. You just basically mock her, you know. So this to me is what the Bible is describing as hell. It's a place um, that holds these souls um, who have rejected Christ basically and uh, who've came there and they're they're being made to experience all the the wickedness that they've done to other people they've been made to experience that um until the second resurrection until jesus comes back to the earth the saints rule for a thousand years and then these guys will be resurrected and judged okay according to uh the according to the books that were opened so these books are um, God recording every single event in, in your life which uh, could be related to things that you have done and then also he'll show you the things that has, has pleased him and has displeased him and every, everybody's works shall be judged according to the Bible okay according to their works now the saints of course have, have accepted Jesus are saved by grace and by accepting Christ and following him and allowing Christ's blood to atone for their sins and also allowing the Holy Spirit to lead them, instruct them. Um, it's about obedience and so it's a different type of judgment that God gives the saints based on reward as long as the saints continually remain in humility. Um, repent uh, continue to repent of sins and allow the Holy Spirit to um, teach them um, allow them to grow in God's grace um, may intercede for other people depending on how God uses us um, whichever work that we're called to do in God's kingdom but the works here are I wouldn't even say that they're the possibly works connected with God's commandments. Obviously no one can keep God's commandments for any sustained amount of time, I think, without falling in, in, in some area. For example, breaking a Sabbath. I think if we're all really honest, uh, most of us struggle um, about these areas because we're meant to work also six days a week. Very few people work six days a week as, as well. So that's... Uh, we're also getting commands from the Lord be fruitful and multiply a lot of people struggle in that area as well there's a lot of Christians who have dedicated their life to serving Christ and they they end up having no children and uh, you know is God going to punish them for that well I mean it's all about I think serving the Lord you know when you're born again so all these things these type of judgments you know what can you say um our works shall be be judged in the end. I uh, don't really know what else to say about that, but it's very, very clear. And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. So even the Bible says that hell exists. Now, I, I don't know what Bible version you use, but it's very interesting if you're a Jehovah Witness and it says that in your Bible, it, it proves that hell exists. That's Revelation 20, uh, verse 14. Anyway, guys. It's amazing what we just just a few minutes in the Bible what what it teaches us and what it reveals isn't it may the Lord bless you thank you for watching